Welcome to Five a Day with Jay. How's it going? Have you ever had something that you can do that to you seems perfectly normal and other people are like, wow, really? That's strange. To you, it's perfectly normal. To other people, it's completely bizarre. One of those things for me is dreams. I'm not talking about ambitions and looking towards the future or that type of thing. I'm talking about wake up and remember what I was dreaming. I do this frequently. More frequently than I think a lot of people do. My favorite daughter, I know she dreams because she'll talk in her sleep. But she doesn't remember what she was dreaming when she wakes up. Or the missus will wake up and, oh my gosh, I was dreaming that the dogs ran away. You know, that that type of thing. I dream in very vivid, vivid imagery. And I always have. Let me give you an example. Two dreams I had last night. Yes, two dreams that I had last night. My sleep was interrupted, so I had one dream. Woke up, had another dream. First dream. And this is probably because I was watching a lot of The Mandalorian. I was on a planet. Muddy. Dirty roads. Wet. Puddles. Large puddles everywhere. The buildings were strange huts. The little awnings that come out, the sticks that hold up the awning. People selling things on the sides. And by people, I mean beings and like I said I believe this because I was watching a lot of the Mandalorian the material of their clothes was thick heavy almost canvas like material but they were all pale and muted colors either like a muted blue or a pale yellow uh, almost like a beige or gray and I was walking through the street one thing that's weird in my dreams people don't talk but I know what they're saying or intend to say. No one in the stream was saying anything. People were just going about their business. Perfectly normal. A small dog ran out of one of the buildings. Open doorways. No actual doors. Open doorways. Small dog ran out. Couldn't identify the breed of the dog, but it was a wiry little dog. Really thin. A larger dog ran out, and at first I thought the larger dog was chasing the smaller dog, but it turned out both dogs were running away from something else. That something else turned out to be very similar in size to a giant salamander. You know, the giant, wide, broad heads, but its snout was more pointed. Very yellowish in color, lumpy, spotted skin, very slimy. The two dogs jumped over one of the mud puddles and the salamander thing was kind of like how an alligator will be up rather than sliding along up and it was moving really quickly and it went to the mud puddle but went in and stayed submerged everybody watched this like it was everyday business but the two dogs around the corner gone woke up Well, that was interesting. Dream number two. Driving my truck. I've got a larger truck with a large cab. Look at the big back seat, the crew cab. Driving my truck. Alone. Down a street I didn't recognize. There were a mother and daughter. Don't ask why I know they were mother and daughter. Wearing habibs on one side of the street. The daughter in white and gray the mother wearing a blue and darker blue streets were wet and it was raining I don't know why I'm each one of my dreams were wet on the other side of the street were I guess you just call them rednecks guy in cut off shorts wife beater t-shirt smoking a cigarette mullet just talking with his friend, his friend, big guy, drinking a beer, wearing a t-shirt and jeans, neither one of them wearing shoes. I wound up 
going from the front seat to the back seat of the truck. You know how sometimes you'll see that fisheye lens from the high corner of the room? That was kind of the view I was having. I wasn't driving the truck anymore. The truck was rolling down the street, almost hitting the mother and daughter on the one side, and I panicked. I panicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, I, what's happening? This isn't right. I should be driving. I jumped over the front seat as it was going under a bridge, and the walls on the bridge were not brick, not really stone, but they were like a, a pattern like somebody stamped concrete and this pattern continued as it went around a corner and I knew if I didn't get up and stop the truck or turn I was going to hit that side so I jumped up in the front seat and I stopped the truck just before I hit the wall had to get the truck repaired just so happens turn to the left there's a repair shop talking with the owner as I said, no one, no sound in my dreams. But talking with the owner, explaining what happened, and he said, okay, we'll, we'll check out and see what's wrong with your truck. The owner, very thin hair on top, very, almost no hair on the sides, very greasy, but not in a disgusting fashion. His, he was wearing coveralls that were greasy, but I don't believe that he worked on vehicles himself. He had an assistant that might have been his son, taller than him, a lot more muscular. They took the truck into the shop. I went and did something. I have no idea what I did. I just know I left and I came back. Owner said, okay, your truck's ready. We had to replace this one little part. It's going to be $4.96. I gave him a $10 bill and said, keep the change. Can't do that. Here's the five bucks. If you feel the need to, you can give a tip to the other guy. Kind of told me that it was no longer his son. It was just somebody else that worked there. So I gave the five bucks to that guy and I said, I'm here to pick up my truck. He took me to a truck that was a Toyota, bright blue Toyota. I'm like, oh, this, this is not my truck. He's like, oh, that's right. You had a Dodge. The one next to it, it was a very small bay, only two trucks fit. And the other one was indeed a Dodge, but had no truck bed. The whole truck bed was gone. And it was just a single cab. It wasn't the full crew cab. And I'm like, that's not my truck either. Where's my truck? All around the shop, there was rags, litter, empty cans, tools, just everywhere, uh, like an oil barrel, with tools sitting on top of the oil barrel. Random posters that I can't identify, but I know that there were posters up on the walls of, I, I believe it was tools or uh, race cars, that type of thing. Things you would I would normally think of as being in a shop. Finally, the guy apologized profusely, tried to give me the tip back. And I said, no, 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 that's fine. I just want my truck. And he did indeed, indeed find my truck. And he said, okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. They had parked my truck on the other side of the shop on a ramp. And it had rolled down the ramp outside into a parking spot. And it had hit the curb and was sitting there. My, my truck's an automatic transmission, so I have no idea how that could have rolled out of there uh, unless they somehow left it in neutral, but there it was. There was my truck outside, and it was getting dark at this point. The lights were coming out outside. More people had gathered around to where I had been pointing at me, not accusing me of anything, but just identifying me. And I realized that this was because I had been in the back seat of my truck, had to jump in the front seat, and they thought I was hiding. But again, they weren't accusing me of anything. It was just pointing out where I was. This is how vivid my dreams are. This is the level of detail in my dreams that I remember when I wake up regularly. I have no idea what they mean. I, again, I think the first frame was basically because I was watching a lot of The Mandalorian and 
with the baby Yoda and the different creatures they're seeing. Um, that's it made sense when I woke up. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. That, as far as the truck, I don't know, but have I been playing too much Grand Theft Auto lately? I don't know. Um, just interesting. I, I find it fascinating that I remember dreams with that much detail and that much vividness that I could tell a story about what I was dreaming. Yet some people, like my favorite daughter, no, no idea. So, what's your opinion? How, how does it work for you? Do you have dreams you remember? Do you remember just basic images and impressions? Or do you have very vivid, colorful dreams? Do you have sound in your dreams? Do you hear things? The only time I've ever heard things in my dreams is I'll hear an alarm. Like when I had an alarm, beep, 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 that would go off. And somebody in my dream would tell me, hey, it's time to wake up. And I would get up. Or I've had people tell me, hey, you know, I'll, I'll, something will be happening in my dream. And somebody will, everything will stop. And somebody will tell me, hey, you need to wake up. I'll wake up all of a sudden, look at my alarm clock, and it's one minute before my alarm goes off. That I've had happen many, many times. Still happens. I'll still wake up because something in my dream will be happening. And it's like, I need to be awake and I'll wake up and it'll be one or two minutes before the alarm goes off. I hate when that happens. I want to sleep until that alarm goes off just in time. Anyway, how's dreaming work for you? Let me know.